Hello, Mr. Collier here, and today we're going to talk about episode four of our kinematics chapter. We're going to talk about acceleration a little bit more and kind of recap what we've done so far. In our last notes, we talked about acceleration by looking at graphs. Today I want to look at it mathematically, so we're going to do some example problems. First, find the acceleration of the green racer if he goes from rest to 20 meters per second in five seconds. So recall that the equation for acceleration is a change in velocity over time, so we need to figure out how much the green racer's velocity has changed and how much time it took. That's pretty straightforward from this example. His final speed is 20 meters per second, and his starting speed is 0 meters per second. The way I knew that was that it says from rest, and from rest means not moving 0 meters per second. Then I'm going to divide it by the time, which in this case they straight up tell us it's 5 seconds. Then I divide and I find that the acceleration is 4 meters per second squared. Let's look at that unit for a second. We've got meters per second divided by seconds, and so really that could be written as meters per second times seconds, and that's where we get meters per second squared. Let's talk about this conceptually. This 4 meters per second per second, or 4 meters per second squared, is saying that for every second that this car is accelerating, its speed increases by 4 meters per second. So it starts at 0 from rest, after 1 second, 4, 2 seconds, 8, 3 seconds, 12, 4 seconds, 16, and after 5 seconds, right, which is what we defined in the problem, it's up to 20 meters per second. Let's try another example. Here we're going to find the acceleration of the green racer if he goes from 20 meters per second to 10 meters per second in 5 seconds. So just by glancing at it, I can tell that the racer is slowing down. I'm going to use the same equation, though, and see what that looks like mathematically. So now, the green racer's final speed is 10, which is the smaller number. So when I subtract his starting speed, 10 minus 20, I actually get a negative number. So when I divide it out, I get a negative acceleration. Here, the negative acceleration is telling us that the car's velocity is decreasing every second, getting slower and slower by 2 meters per second. Its acceleration is in the opposite direction from its moving. The negative sign means opposite of its motion, which in this case is going to slow it down. If it continued to accelerate negatively, it would eventually turn around and start accelerating, speeding up, in the opposite direction. So let's review some of the things we've talked about so far in this chapter. We started by defining speed as equal to distance divided by time. Then we talked about average velocity as displacement over time. We're also looking a little bit at how we can rearrange equations to solve for different variables. And you should be comfortable doing that, as we'll need to do it a lot throughout the year. We talked about how sometimes there's more than one way to write an equation. And we explained what acceleration is. At this point, you should have three equations at least on your equation card. We also talked in this chapter about interpreting graphs. We can do three different things looking at a graph. We can read it directly, like finding what the speed is on a speed graph. We can also learn a little bit more by looking at the slope. The slope of a position time graph tells us speed, and we can learn a lot there, and the slope of a speed versus time graph tells us acceleration. And finally, we can take these graphs and put it into everyday language, talking about how the object is moving, when it changes direction, when it's speeding up or slowing down. We can kind of tell a story about the motion through the graph. So hopefully now you have a good understanding of how to calculate acceleration and how to talk about the motion of objects in terms of where it is, how long it's been moving, how far it's been moving, and how fast it's speeding up or slowing down.